That son of a bitch. Alright. You almost had me. You almost had me. I bet that's better. I bet that's better. Welcome to episode 106 of Low Tide, the official program for Rude Planet, and I'm your host. I'm sorry I didn't uh, put out anything on Friday or so or over the weekend. Actually, I have something uh, that I filmed back in June, and I've just been sort of sitting on it, and I just, I just wasn't feeling it this weekend. I just wasn't feeling it, so like I'll probably put it out on Friday. It's something different. Um, <laughs> But, um, yeah, believe it or not, <laughs> believe it or not, uh, as sad and pathetic as it is, these videos are the highlight of my week. So, like, get to spend some time with you. We got some new, some, uh, new, this. we got some new subscribers. So, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> thanks in part to, uh, I was, uh, Invited onto Foo's Building a Mystery uh, show last week. <laughs> His comic Foo was trying to pull a fast one. He got I got a message on Instagram. He's like, "Hey, you want to come on our show to talk about who you think this Dean Kane? Yeah, they're still on that Dean Kane <laughs> trip." Um, but uh yeah so i was like on last tuesday or whatever and like i really let him have it i, I just figured well uh <laughs> yolo <laughs> and i just i i just went after it so like i have a i have a link to uh the video from last week if you want to check it out um also <laughs> But, you know, as a result, you know, I've got some new subscribers, so thank you to the ch to the channel. I don't know if this video will be exactly uh, uh, indicative of what you'll see from me. You know, every video seems to be different, and I'm flying by the seat of my pants half the time. You know, it's like um, I had, uh, <laughs> you know... Uh, <laughs> I really have, you know, like, you know, it's like, 
writing wise, I have a little bit of writer's block, but you know, it's like, I have just like blocks about, you know, like minor shit. And you know, it's like, if I plan on doing like this little Johnny Carson bit between, you know, every unboxing or whatever, you know, I should really have something to talk about, but like other than foo, <laughs> foo's bullshit last week, um, kind of lost me, kind, kind of, you know, I'm kind of lost there, <laughs> you know, it's like, uh, what have I really done, you know, it's like I went down a few rabbit holes on YouTube this week, maybe, nothing really interesting there, uh, there's a little bootleg of the next Spider-Man movie, <laughs> you know, that uh, was just, you know, like, leaked onto YouTube, but, like, you have to watch, like, a video of a video of somebody's cell phone and another video, and, you know, it's like, what? Um, uh, it's, it's Sony, and it's Tom Holland, Spider-Man, what? It's cape shit. Why the, why? I'm not going to get excited over cape shit. Those days are long gone. You know, and it's like, I totally forgot that, like, uh, What If was even, you know, playing on Disney Plus. And, like, uh, it's a fucking cartoon, so fuck it. I, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Let's take a break. And, uh... This box seems pretty substantial, so let's take a break so, like, we're not here all night. So, why are we going to do this? Yes. Ooh, love it. Love it. Um, yeah, I, uh, I'll get to this in a second. I just sort of want to break this shit up because it came in two, uh, uh, the two packages uh, taped together. So, um, yeah. This week, I've gone back to my buddy Boss Kong's uh, uh, little uh, offering that he has on uh, Instagram right now. In addition to his normal mystery boxes, uh, he also has a curated box. And in that one, what you do is like you can stipulate, you know, what budget you're willing to work with. And then he'll give you a little question questionnaire. <laughs> and it's like, uh, you know, the, he'll ask you like a whole bunch of questions about your collecting habits or whatever. I'm like, last week, uh, you know, like Stevie did one. And like, he, he, uh, he called Stevie a fucking basic bitch based off his collector's taste. I sent my questionnaire in and he's like, you comic hipster son of a bitch or you comic hipster asshole or something like that. And uh, he's like, he's like, I can just tell that this is going to be the $50 box that's going to give me a nervous breakdown. I don't like cape shit, man. You know, it's like, so, you know, it's like, I, I like stuff that's provocative and weird and strange. If, I, if I'm a comic hipster, I'll wear that name as a badge of honor. Anyway, so like um, lots of different options. He'll make this box just for you. And it came taped together as two. So like, let's just do this thumbnail. Let's do the, let's do the 10 commandments thing. I did this, I did this on like the second episode of Low Tide. I was like, what did I say? Speculators and variant collectors, you shall drink bitter waters. Or something like that. Anyway, um, yeah, this uh, seems like a pretty hefty box. And he told me that, you know, I should really like this box. He seemed to uh, be proud of it. So, um... Let's dig in. He tapes the shit out of these boxes, so it's going to take me a second just to even like get in here. But um, yeah, let's see what a uh, let's see what exactly constitutes a curated box from uh, from uh, Silverback Graphics because. I have some slabs that are on the way, and I hope I get them before Christmas. But if I do, 
I might just, you know, like splurge a little bit and uh, see exactly what a uh, bigger paying, uh, a bigger paying box from uh, Silverback would look like. But in any case, I paid $50 plus $10 shipping. And yep, it's taped all the shit. Come on, dude. Oh, shit. Okay, that's more like it. So here's what the box looks like. And uh, let's just, let's just, uh, yeah, there's another box too, but we'll start with this one. There is a lot of books in here. Hold on. Hold on. I better restart the recording here so I have enough time. Holy shit. Yeah, I've been to note on the box. It says uh, VIP curated box with my name on it. And uh, yeah, man, let's just uh, let's just see what's in here. So so far so good. Yeah, even like who says you're curated, like some of the stuff I would list on the uh, 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 questionnaire, stuff that I would collect, you know, it's like Lobo, Ghost Rider, Sandman, Constantine, Preacher. So like those were like some, uh, some priorities I gave them. So let's just do this and it comes with a little, look at that. Oh, isn't that romantic? Uh, I'm sure that's the cheat sheet though. So like, let's just, uh, let's just go in and see what we got here. So, The Children's Crusade, number two of two by Neil Gaiman. The Children's Crusade 101. So here's number one and here's number two. So this is a little Neil Gaiman, uh, a uh, little mini run here. So yeah, I love old Vertigo. So like this is definitely exactly the kind of stuff I'm looking for. So we have here is, enjoy this uh, sampler variety pack of Vertigo. So what did I just say? We got some little little uh, thing here full of vertigo books so I'm just gonna rip it I'm just gonna rip it so you got these little sampler pack of vertigo here yeah that's one of, that was one of my that was one of my New Year's resolutions was to like really put some focus on vertigo so like I'm definitely uh, I'm probably doing this box backwards. I have no idea. But we have uh, Angel and the Ape number four. That seems familiar. Shade the Changing Man. There's my boy. Yeah, Peter Milligan. I uh, really, really loved Vertigo back in the day. Just absolutely wonderful. It's number 62. And then Kid Eternity, I remember this too. Kid Eternity number one. So we have that. Yeah, what's any Vertigo collection com uh, complete without any some uh, Black Orchid here? So we got some Black Orchid. We got Black Orchid number nine. And then we have some Grant Morrison. We have a Grant Morrison Swamp Thing number 142. Absolutely, absolutely correct. Preacher Crusaders part six of six. Yes, this is Garth Ennis number 24. So yeah, man, absolutely. Sandman Mystery Theater number two. Yeah, man, this is a, this is a, <laughs> this is exactly the kind of stuff that you know I've been really. Uh, I, I was it was one of my New Year's resolutions was to 
you know, like really start getting into uh, getting some Vertigo stuff this year. So Sandman Mystery Theater number three. And then we have Sandman Mystery Theater number 31. There we go. So let's uh, see what we have here. Oh, got some more, more collections here. So we got, oh, I don't know what that one is. Um, we got some Hellblazer. We got some Hellblazer here. We got Hellblazer number 135. And he's like, one of the past couple boxes I've gotten like, you know, some Hellblazer and shit. So like, that's just wonderful. Hellblazer number 80. And then uh, Hellblazer number 79. Yep. That's just wonderful. It's like Steve Dillon is just fantastic as well. And then uh, Constantine Hellblazer number 215. And then we got 214. And then uh, 213. Yeah, I, I had just uh, bagged and boarded like just last week. Um, the Hellblazer he sent me the last time. So, yeah, this is uh, exactly. I was like, look at all these books, man. This is just fantastic. So, um, let's see what we got. Well, more Hellblazer. We got Hellblazer number 138. Number 148. Number 147. Oh man. This is the, uh, this is from uh, the Brian Azzarello area. So we got 146. And then we got, yeah, Warren Ellis, 141. And then uh, 139. And 126, Paul Jenkins. Nice. I'm gonna show something after I'm done with these. So like, um, yeah, we got uh, Ghost Rider versus Deathlock, number 10 and number nine. So I'm, there's number nine and number 10. So yes, I'm really happy. Who did this? Oh uh, yeah, this is when uh, Marvel didn't say who was writing this shit, but like I'm really happy with that. Here we go. We got some Lobo. I got uh, I got Infanticide number two, three, and four. Here's Inf Infanticide number one. And oh yeah. So and number three. So yeah, we got some Lobo here. That's awesome. That's awesome. So we're still digging. We're still digging here. Oh yeah, man. It's beat the shit, but I love I love I love books that have shown some wear, some patina. This is Marvel Spotlight number eight. Ghost uh, featuring Ghost Riders. So Marvel Spotlight number eight. Oh hell yeah. And then uh, yeah, Sleepwalker. That's another thing I wanted to work on this year was uh, to get a Sleepwalker run. Um, the Sleepwalker number 11 featuring Ghost Rider. So we have that. And let's see what else here. Oh yeah, Ghost Rider number 52. I think that, you know, I'm just gonna have to, you know, like dedicate a short box just to Silverback. You know, so like I can just do like keep track of all the shit. Daredevil number 295 with Ghost Rider. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yes, I have this, but I'll take as many as, uh, as you can. This is uh, Lobo's Blazing Chain of Love. I love this cover. I love this cover. It's Keith Giffen. Uh, 
story. But yeah, I already have that, but I'll take these all day. So that's awesome. And then we have Ghost Rider number 79. Look at that. That's just great. And then uh, Sandman Mystery Theater number 12. So, yeah, easily, easily worth the money and I haven't even opened up the surprise. So like, let's take a look at what this little love letter from Silverback, Mr. Boss Kong himself, has. let's see what he has to say for himself. Because uh, that's a $50 box. I'd wonder what a $100 box would look like. So here's the cheat sheet. We have Sandman Mystery Theater number 12, retelling of the first appearance of Maria the Brute. Ghost Rider number 79, uh, first appearance of Freak Master. Lobo Blazing Chains of Love. While chasing a bounty through a brothel that is the size of New Jersey, Lobo has to blast his way through every sense of the word. <laughs> ah, nice. Death Clock Lot, uh, Death Lock Lot. First meeting of Deathlock and Ghost Rider, complete two issue story. Infanticide Lot, all the bastard children from Lobo's past team up to hunt, hunt them down and kill them. Marvel Spotlight number eight, third appearance of Ghost Rider, first appearance of Witchman. So that's, it's beat the shit, but I'll take it. Um, Daredevil 295, first appearance of Maltese. Ghost Rider number 52, first appearance of the Sirens of, Sirens of Kronos. Sleepwalker 11. Ghost Rider takes Sleepwalker into the protection into protection while Hitman keeps trying to kill his uh, host body. Hellblazer lot collection of two to three consecutive issues at a time. Vertigo comic sampler pack, a collection of assorted issues from lesser known Vertigo titles. Uh, for Boss Kong original art prints and more, please visit his Etsy. I will put that in the description. So I will be right back. I'm going to take a quick break. About a month ago, I had gone to, is right when I had, uh, about three or four days before I uh, took my break, I was stopped by Savers and I found all these Constantine trade paperbacks. They were there, they were like, it's like, what are they marked at? They marked at three bucks a piece, but I had like a, I had a 50% off coupon. So I got all these for like, <laughs> got all these for like, uh, dollar fifty each so like yeah that was uh, definitely a very fine score recently that was very much a fine score recently so hell yeah so you had like all of that hellblazer all that constantine all that shit man and I haven't even gotten into uh, I haven't even gotten into uh, the little bonus gift here so, yeah, man, 50 bucks. That's what, and you could like stipulate like, oh, I want, you know, keys and shit like that. Um, but like, I told him I didn't really care. You know, it's just, you know, like get me shit that I like. And like, I can already tell you that that box very much, I'm very pleased with that box. Um, Come on, dude. Ah, oh, man. There we go. So it says, uh, just a little extra. Just a little extra thank you for all the support from Boss Kong. All right, buddy. Let's see what you did. If I can find where to open it. Where do I fucking open it? There we go. There we go. Oh, some kind words from Boss Kong. There you go, Stevie. I can never thank you enough for taking a chance on me so long ago and helping me grow as much as I have. Boss Kong. Yeah, man. So, like, he sent me a little uh, print. And um, it's true. I had, uh, when I first started doing this channel, I started looking for mystery boxes and shit. And like I found his uh, boxes on by chance on uh, on uh, eBay and Mercari. So like 
I took a chance on his boxes. Back then, each one of them came with a slab, so like I was really kind of, uh, kind of uh, shocked at the novelty of it. And like, uh, yeah, his boxes have always treated me right. And um, yeah, he's definitely staying in rotation. I still have a box from him I bought like three or four months ago. I haven't opened. I'm going to put that on the channel. Probably do that as a live stream because like there's a lot of books in it. So I guess that's it. Um, what was I going to do? Yeah. So the August giveaway is still ongoing. I'm giving away this. I'm giving away giant size X-Men number one. The foil print, uh, foil edition from Mexico. So it is the uh, foil reprint. I'm giving that away. In order to be eligible for that, you need to be subscribed to the channel, comment on a uh, August video, and be a U.S. resident or have arrangements. Um, and beyond that. 500 subscriber. I still have my copy of Amazing Spider-Man number 55. The Patrick Gleason Virgin variant. It is signed and limited to 2,500 copies. I'm giving that away once I reach 500 subscribers. But the only way to get there, bring your friends, bring your family. And we'll get there as soon as we can. So, man, we made it through another one. Oh, man, we made it through another one. Yeah, as I said, this is like the highlight of my week. <laughs> Getting to yuck it up with all of you guys. And uh, I will be back next week. I have like a whole bunch of boxes in here. I need to get start like <laughs> getting rid of those as well. Because like they're starting to get a little bit out of date. But beyond that, I guess that's it. I will see you next week.